you can prevent these children from going blind, then and when we treat it early and, and these children don't detach and we have good outcomes, then the prognosis for vision is excellent. That these children will see and function. The flip side is like the children that we saw today. You know, those children who never got examined and came in today with a total retinal attachment because of hormone V. They will not see and they will be blind. And therefore, they will not live as long as a child who can't see. If you just establish schools with good protocols and you have, you have good people taking care of these children, it works. And, uh, we just have to figure that out. Uh, my name is Paul Chan. I'm a retina specialist uh, from New York City. I'm here working with Orbis uh, doing an assessment of uh, the ROP, retinopathy prematurity, uh, here in Mongolia. Uh, over the past four or five days, what we've done was uh, do uh, neonatal intensive care unit assessments and we've also examined patients in the outpatient clinic, um, examining children and trying to get a better sense of what the uh, ROP burden is here in, in this country. Uh, we've worked with local partners, um, pediatric ophthalmologists, retina specialists uh, in educating and also getting a sense of uh, what they were comfortable dealing with with regard to ROP. It's a problem with the blood vessels in the back of the eye where the blood vessels can grow up normally um, and it affects uh, preterm and very low birth weight infants. Uh, and in the United States, uh, we have very specific screening protocols to evaluate retinopathy prematurity. Uh, so we examine children less than 1,500 grams and less than 30 weeks. In countries like Mongolia, there are no current screening protocols. So the problem comes where if we don't know what the RP burden is, there could be a significant number of blind children walking around um, who actually haven't been screened. But in retinopathy prematurity, what happens is that if it's an advanced form, the blood vessels can grow so abnormally that they can rip the retina off and cause a retinal attachment, which basically means that these children will go blind if not treated at the right time. We didn't know what to expect coming into Mongolia with regard to the patients we would see. We didn't know what the ROP uh, burden was. Um, and when we came in and examined patients Monday morning, uh, we examined about 17 patients, um, a number of which had ROP. Uh, six actually had stage 5 ROP, which is a uh, very advanced disease. Um, it's a retinal detachment that uh, really, no matter what you do, the child will be blind. As physicians and, and working and partnering with, with Orbis, we can do a lot you know, to, to really make, make an impact here. And, and individuals you know, who aren't physicians can actually they can be impact here by just showing an interest and being involved in the process. But really it's education, it's implementation, it's helping them uh, define what they need to do and to manage the disease. Um, working with the government, the Ministry of Health here, uh, to uh, create protocols to, you know, efficiently and, you know, cost effectively uh, screen the appropriate children who may have uh, ROP.